Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the user control and display board in your washer, unplug the power cord. Now use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws, securing the rear control panel. Lift the panel up to remove. Next, detach the control housing and remove the screw securing the control assembly cover. Use a small flathead screwdriver to help release the cover and set the cover aside. Disconnect the display board wire connectors from the main control board. Next, remove the screws securing the control assembly. Pull the assembly away from the control housing and use the small flathead screwdriver to carefully separate the main control board from the old display board. Prepare the new user control and display board for installation by transferring the selector knob from the old board to the new one. Now snap the new board into place on the main control board. Align the control assembly in the housing and replace the screws to secure. Connect the new display board wire connectors to the terminals on the main control board. Snap on the cover and replace the mounting screw. Reposition the control housing. Slide the rear control panel into place and secure it with the screws. With the repair completed, plug the power cord back in and your washer should be ready for use.